What is cost volume profit or CVP analysis? It's one of our methods for setting prices. And um, we looked at it earlier and said it's where the selling price of the product is set by determining the number of sales that must be made of the product before the business will either break even or achieve a desired level of profit. So examples, the types of questions we're trying to answer are to achieve a profit of zero dollars, which we call break even, we have to sell 800 units or to achieve a profit of $20,000, we have to sell 1500 units. So that means we need to calculate what is called the break even point. What is the break even point? That is the level of sales the business must make before it will break even. In other words, achieve a net profit of zero. In other words, it's where the revenues of the business will equal its expenses. So to summarize, a net profit of, or sorry, we made revenues of 100,000 and we had expenses of 100,000, we'd have a profit of zero. That would be our break even, even point. We would say we would need to achieve sales of $100,000 in order to break even. To perform CVP analysis, some data is needed. So these are terms we're going to use throughout the rest of the chapter. We're going to need the selling price per unit, which is the amount each unit of product is sold for. We're going to need the fixed costs. We'll explore what these are in more detail next, but we'll say for now, they're the costs of the business that don't vary with the level of sales made. That is different to variable costs. They're costs of the business that do vary with the level of sales made. Contribution margin, we can think of that effectively as the profit that we make on the sale of each unit, which we will call gross profit later in the unit. But for now, we'll just call that contribution margin. And lastly, the last input variable we'll need to put in is the desired profit, the total net profit the business would like to make.